Now we're up to using data to persuade and talking about how graphs can sometimes be misleading. So sometimes graphs can be altered to make the data look differently than it really is. For example, this graph over here, it looks like it should be. It starts off with a zero down here and it goes up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, and this amount of hours in the day. Now over here, there's some different activities that are done. So if you look here, Yes, yeah, six hours and, and eight hours and amount of sleep, so that looks relatively reasonable. You add them all up and you get, uh, you get a reasonable amount of time in, uh, of the day. But if you were a kid and you wanted to convince your parents all you do is go to school and sleep, so you should be allowed to stay up later and uh, that you should be allowed to play outside and play more and watch more TV, you might actually show this graph, because if you look here, it says that it starts off at three. It doesn't actually start off at zero because then it makes it look like you don't get to eat, you don't get to play outside, watch TV, you don't do your chores. Well, maybe that would be something you wouldn't want to include on there. But, uh, and you don't do your homework for more time. So again, that's just the idea. Sometimes, so graphs can be different depending upon that. Sometimes there's breaks in graphs where it looks like something like this on the side of it. I'll draw it, draw it in just one second here. Where what happens is that there's a graph and it instead has a line, and it has like this thing in here, and that indicates that like if it skips from, well, if it says like 0, 10, 20, and then it goes up to here, it goes up to 100. Sometimes there's a line there to indicate that there's a break in the graph, and you need to be careful on those too, because it can really mess you up and, and look, uh, look like the graph is, is different. Another example here is, look, if you were to look quickly at this graph and not closely, you'd say, oh, wow, hot dogs are really, really popular. They're so much more popular than hamburgers and pizza. But if you look closely, this starts at 9.50. It goes up 9.55, 9.60, 9.65. .60. This is actually a more honest graph. And if you see there, here it looks like that, wow, hamburgers are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that like hot dogs are seven times more popular than hamburgers, but they aren't. They're only, they're actually pretty close to being the same popularity, but this graph makes it look different. So that's it, and just be careful on those graphs because they can really mess you up and make it so you believe something that is not true.